Okay. So, in the event that I post this to YouTube, I feel like I should introduce it a little bit. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you are watching this after the fact, I uh, just kind of wanted to explain a bit about this game. What little I know about it. It's some kind of um, horror survival kind of game with a, um, a distinct plot so far as I can tell. And uh, all I really know about it is I... I knew about it for a while, I kind of had my eye on it, and I had the demo installed for a while, which I did play uh, shortly before buying this game, and didn't really know much about it, apart from the fact that it looked pretty good by the qualities you usually expect of an indie studio. And that's when I came to learn, through actually the opening credits, that this game is actually developed by former members of the studio Monolith, who are known... At, Mostly known to me for the Fear games, but also known for stuff like uh, Shadow of Mordor and uh, Gotham City Imposters. Um, Shadow of Mordor, of course, being created after these guys left. And um, so that, that kind of explains how uh, this game kind of is definitely cut above your typical indie fare. And, um, well... Instead of hanging too long, I say we just jump right into it. I did play the demo very shortly, didn't get too far, but since the game was on sale for about $4, I figured why the hell not, so let us go. And here we begin. Um, the game is not the most visually impressive, but it does have some slowdown that I do need to um, kind of account for, but I can't do it from here, unfortunately. Let me just resort out the controls. I think when I reinstalled it from the demo, a lot of these got changed back. I don't want toggle sprint. For melee to be F and use to be E. Want inventory to be that. Notes to be that. I think that will suffice. All right, so let us move along. Oh god, the sensitivity on the mouse is horrible. More than double it. That's much better. So there is a... Oh. Some performance hit here, too. Musket load. We don't have a musket and we don't have a bow. We found ammo for the both of them. So, yeah, as we saw in the intro, Craig Hubbard is the name that stood out to me the most, being one of the lead designers and writers for the first Fear game. Possibly the second, I don't really remember. But, um... Yeah, I was I was very surprised to see that. I thought this was made by much more low key indie studio. Uh, I do seem to be very mistaken about that. It does kind of surprise me that such talented names uh, resulted in a game like this, which is you know it's it's not a bad. It doesn't seem like it's a bad game by any means, and in some ways is uh, pretty technically impressive. But in other ways, it just seems 
to fall very short of like AAA quality. But maybe the uh, maybe the budget for it was much uh, smaller than they were used to working with. Don't know who you are, or why you've come here, but you should turn back lest you become trapped in this place like I am. The first journal entry. A maiden in red cloak sent a note attached to an arrow. Seems to be warning me away. Well, we have kind of have no choice because our boat got wrecked on the shore. Let us move along. Now, you seem to have infinite sprint in this game, which is, on one hand, good. On the other hand, doesn't really, not really conducive of, like, a survival horror sort of game. In fact, uh, a bit more challenge in that regard. Ah, it seems we have a bow. Sir or madam, I've come into possession of a number of fine items of exceptional quality and indisputable value. I offer you a free bow in hopes that you may survive long enough to become a regular consumer. Arrows will be free for a limited time as well. Respectfully, John Howe Merchant. For some reason, we can't take any more arrows, despite the fact that he said they were free. Can't really afford any of his other fare. So, I guess our, our quiver can only hold up to 16. We have Newt. So I should advise you that enemies are easiest to slay if you can catch them unaware, for their rage makes them stronger. Dust the head, inflict more grievous injury, as is expected. And needless to say, our first enemy awaits just yonder. And there's the fool. One of the cool things that we'll actually learn around the corner is that enemies are... You can hide... You can mask your sound. Enemies can hear you sneaking up on them. But you can mask your sound by uh, moving with the wind. Which is pretty sweet. Seems like... Oh god. Aiming is difficult. Seems like shots have a pretty straight uh, flight path. But there's no zoom whatsoever, so it's kind of hard to see this guy. There we go. Took him down in one hit. Got some silver coins off of this fool. And a broken pistol. It's unfortunate, and that's not something we can really make use of. Found all treasure, ugh, all treasure chests in the uh, coastal path area. John Howe is a traveling merchant who borrows weapons and equipment, but cannot be arsed. To, uh, make those arrangements in person. So he leaves everything in a chest. Weapons I offer are guaranteed to do more harm and do it faster. Uh, of course they are, buddy. Of course they are. So it's not exactly an open world game. It does seem that the, uh, maps are fairly small and divided by loading screens, but I think there's supposed to be a great deal that you're intended to explore. And now we got a tomahawk. Was remiss of me not to mention that enemies are more likely to discover you if you are moving. Crouching makes you harder to detect and moves more quietly. Use the wind to your advantage. Gusts will mask your footsteps. Tomahawk! Oh, it's gone. Shit. Last time I was able to retrieve it, but... It seems there's like a uh, random chance of whether or not it is actually recoverable. No big deal. Oh, wait. I, I still see it below my um, ammo counter, so maybe I did just immediately pick it up. Missed. Ah, fuck. Misclick. Oh, we got that arrow back. I'm not really sure where the others sailed off to. I did do, I did try and choose uh, the um, 
options to offer somewhat of a uh, survival challenge, as it were. So I don't have like a map displayed. I do have the compass just to kind of keep me on track. Um, the listen HUD, basically, that is it. it there's a um, you can use an ability to listen for clues, and uh, you just kind of have to determine based on which way the sound is coming from. But if you had this option enabled, it would use an actual vis visual cue to help you figure out where the sound is coming from. I also turned off enemy health bars. I do have my own health and ammo on display just because it would be very hard for me to keep track of that on my own. As far as these enemies, they're quite interesting. They're clearly of a uh, distinctly Spanish persuasion. So this it seems like it's... Um, Based around the colonial period, where um, very, uh, where you know several nations were trying to uh, make holds on the uh, new world, as it were. I'm really, just trying to knock this guy over so I can get a look at his face. These are like these um, enemies here look like Spanish conquistadors. I think is what they are referred to in game. You can see by his face, he is not altogether very human anymore. But you also notice the uh, saturation of the color of his shirt. I don't know why. I've turned... I've altered the um, color saturation in uh, the options. Because if you... Uh, by default, it's all the way down to zero. Which basically makes it black and white. But the... Um, the saturation of the color red is so profound that even in black and white, the color red will still show up. And I've also altered the um, light and dark intensity, just to try and get a more uh, reasonable color palette for what appears to be a very temperate environment. So, so some fairly rich green, but nothing, uh, nothing so tropical looking. I don't believe there was any like treasure chest or anything along the path. There is something right here. Several among the council are wary of being uh, wary of treating with the naturals, but I believe I've convinced them of the necessity. For we cannot assume that Sir Christopher will outfit a resupply fleet of, with sufficient urgency to ensure it reaches us from England before we have no more need of it. We will starve before spring without succor. I like the. I like the. Use of language here. I can see another conquistador way in the distance there. But I do, I do like the language, the writing in this game. It's not entirely period appropriate, but it comes close enough while still being easy for the uh, the not so scholarly among us to read. Now we have just found a, uh, I suppose, a hub area. Here's where things get a bit interesting. Oh, uh, I think we can sell stuff to him, if we so desired. I don't think... I don't get it. Where, where's the, uh, the pistol I had? I had a broken pistol. Hmm. I'm not sure where it went. The bell was mounted here. Alright. Let's take a better look around. So, barrels full of water. Restore your health. Refill your canteen. Or water skin. Whatever it might be. Indian king, whom they call a... Wererance. Or how to pronounce that. Please buy our gifts of tools and trinkets. Give us an abundance of corn and bear meat. Isn't that kind of him? Ooh, well that's spooky in it. Here's be human, it is only ash and ember. And now it is dust in the wind. Um, open. A charm of soldiery. 
Load muskets, pistols, and crossbows 5% faster. That could be useful. Something seems to be buried here, but I cannot dig it up without a shovel. Here we found the bell. To, uh, put back on that, um, that thingamajig over there. Not spare any men to Fort Henry, for we are harried constantly by the naturals. We have recently grown more hostile for unknown reasons. That is a shame, then. All along the watchtower, we find yet another ash figure. I don't trust them, though. They might come to life at any minute. Most likely intended for the head of a sentry, eh? Thankfully, they did not find it. And now we have a water skin. Uh, we do not need. I'm thinking, according to our prisoners, Spaniards seek to destroy settlements. Might be used for privateering against our treasure fleets. So I'm thinking that the uh, two plus signs above the health bar are probably how many uses of the water skin we have left. Of oh, Ash figure. Couldn't tell ya. If something else is buried, we still need a shovel for that. Think there's any need to refill our water skin and this trowel I might think would be suitable for digging up the uh, ground here but it turns out it is not enough I need something much more substantial oh well let the bell toll <gasps> my god what have I done <clears throat> so it seems we have descended into the underworld somehow. Oh, something's buried here. Ew, I have an eye. Ew, I have an ear. It seems like when I played this before, all these things were in different places. Ah, uh, there's a ghost! I don't trust you. So I'm mouth words, no issues sound forth. No sound issues forth. Halt. I have an eye to see him with, ear to hear him with. Suppose all I need is a tongue to speak with. There it is. <clears throat> Alright, buddy. Tell me your tale. Where's Martha? Who is Martha? A wife? Well, who are you? Captain William Eastgrove. Where did you last see her? On a hillside, we were sitting together. I was holding her hand, talking about our son. I'll find her if I can. Ooh! I was speaking to a... Wait. Hate to interrupt, but who are you talking to? A wraith named William Eastgrove. See, no one? Well, he disappeared in the dark when I rang the bell. Or he appeared in the dark when I rang the bell and vanished when the daylight returned. How can that be? The sun has not moved in the sky. Are you certain of what you saw? I couldn't see him until I found the strange eyeball. That is an unsettling discovery and an odd thing to pick up. Especially you find the tongue more unsettling. Didn't lick the wraith, I hope. Oh, aren't you clever. I'm only curious what one might taste like. Well, ew. Who the hell are you? Can't remember. I'm sure that I lived here for this place is familiar. But it's like a dream I cannot quite recall. You remember anything? Searching for my sister, but I can't remember her name either. Perhaps she is hiding from the Spaniards, for they see more beasts than men. 
I've seen no one but you since I awoke in the forest days ago. I assure you that there are no Spaniards here anymore. One of us is not seeing the world as it is. I hope that it is you, for I do not wish to see the things you speak of. What are the wraith one of you, anyway? Searching for his wife. I hope you find her, but it's hard to track what one cannot see, and I must seek my sister. Please let me know if you see her. We are twins, so she would be easy to recognize. Where shall I find you if I have news to report? Let's meet in this fort for now. I should also like to learn the outcome of your search. Can't help but worry what's become of the race wife. So be it! <clears throat> so, uh, I guess she'll just kind of be chilling around here for now, but you, you can see that uh, the problem as far as the uh, saturation of the color red is still heavily present here. I don't know if that was intentional, but I'm kind of surprised it's not something they ever fixed. There were many skirmishes with the naturals until we finally made peace with them. I think these ash figures were the people who lived here? Which ash figures? Well, I suppose the ones I went around and broke. Sounds horribly unsettling, but I've seen no such thing. So yeah. I mean, it's all, like, it, the way everything's designed, kind of like the, um, the fact that there's, like, no voice acting, the dialogue's pretty basic. You would think that this is kind of like a, um, made from a fairly, like, only moderately experienced indie team, but no, this is actually made by some very, uh, Serious veterans in the industry. Seems to be a lot of shit here. Amongst these uh, greys. This is about as far as I got. I talked to her, then I stopped playing the demo and bought the game, so... Edmund Pierce killed fighting the Spanish. Well, that's a shame. Nathan Lambton, murdered by a Spaniard. I gotta turn up my uh, headphones to hear this. There's definite sound coming from that way. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, how tragic. Mary Barnes. Alright, well, a little else to guide us, I vote that we head in the direction of mysterious sound let's stick along the path for now not sure what horrors might await I don't know if there's any kind of like day or night cycle but that would if <laughs> Fucking hell. Ouch. Oh shit. Oh my god. What? Oh, you know, I, I think I get it now. I think, um, any loot you pick up gets automatically sold if it's not of a practical value. You seem to be armed and dangerous. Helping with my wraith friends? Well, for the moment, I suppose. Well, since we're in the vicinity. Go. That thing spooked the hell out of me, didn't it? I don't suppose I can afford a better bow than this. Ah. Body bow. 35, long, fast, deflect 20. As opposed to this cracked bow. 30 long fast 20. So it does 5 more damage and that's only advantage. Oh well that thing uh, Sparta scared the hell out of me. Hopefully this doesn't continue to rely on jump scares for the horror. But we'll see. We'll see. Thinking... Don't really see much in terms of hillsides here except up there. Maybe we'll find signs of Martha up there. 
Oh, I see another conquistador in the distance. Leave him be for now. Not sure what there if there is anything in terms of like character progression, like leveling up experience. Couldn't tell you. Interesting. It seems to be somewhat of a sound cue for items like this. Treasure ship of scuttled Captain Harper's common sense. Will all of us pay for that folly in disproportionate measure unless we abandon this hopeless venture and sail away from here with all the provision we can gather? Hmm. I don't really know how long this game is. But I am enjoying it thus far and surely will pay off my $4 investment in no time. Uh, there are kind of invisible walls which do break the immersion a bit. I don't know what's... You know, it's probably for, um... Probably for, like, gameplay balance reasons. They don't want you being able to, like, climb on these rocks where the AI can't reach. Which is fair enough, but I hate when a game gives you that kind of illusion of openness and freedom. We find no trace of Tabitha Markley. Sentry saw no one coming or going, nor any sign of struggle. Even her sister asleep in the same bed was not roused. Hmm. Would that be the maiden in red? Who truly knows? Got us a conquistador who surely will get in our way. Closely. That way that we need to go. All the spooks. All the spooks. Alright, you sorry fool. Oh, he dodged that one. Oh, I hit him. Oh, jeez. Oh, he shoots. Oh, jeez. Oh, that did it. <laughs> Simple enough. That's a glass bead. Is that pistol in uh, operable shape? Oh, it was. Wow. Okay. Well, all we need us is some bullets. Now oh, we do have ammo for it. Nice. So the bow shall be our stealth approach. And the pistiola will be what we use when we've been spotted. Sound like a plan? Sounds like a plan to me. Oh, I see twinkles. What twinkles yonder? Oh, skeletons. Remains of a soldier. Ooh, a flute. Seems to be a clue more so than a uh, actual loot. Or flute. Hmm. See something else over here. Another conquistador guarding it, at least in the vicinity. Ooh, we got bombs. Certainly won't be using those frivolously. God, it's so hard to aim. Every little motion is like... Matic. Oh, goodness. 
It's like, I've noticed this in a lot of other shooters as well. It's just like, the slightest twitch moves it like 20 pixels. It makes it very hard to aim. I think this was built on the Unreal Engine. I almost wonder if it's a problem with that, because that's where I notice it most of all. Well, that just bounced right off him. Yeah, bitch. Come blowy. Oh, goodness sake, that hurt. Alright, well, he shot first. But, uh, came out victorious nonetheless. Oh, Jesus. Son of a bitch. Oh, bloody hell. Bob and weave, bob and weave. Oh, goodness, that hurt. Oh, fucking hell, he ducked. Oh, he's so fast. Oh! Son of a bitch. What ammo type is it? Oh, well. Uh, let us quickly return that water barrel. By God, did that work out poorly for us. I almost wonder if maybe if I keep the sensitivity in game pretty low. Turn it up on my actual mouse. Oh, except that horrible right now. Can't say it obviously helps. Keep it about 50. The best I can do. Have me some of that drink. And no, I think it's over there. Hmm. Head around this way then. Keep your eyes peeled. Oh. Ain't nothing here. And no getting up there either. What a shame. There's a whole lot of space without a whole lot in it, so far as I can tell. Head back the way we came, see if I can... Definitely around that hill somewhere. Find this clue. God's Hill. I mean, that's gotta be the landmark that... Has to be the hill... That, um... Mrs. Eastgrove was last seen. That's what uh, my senses tell me. Chapter on the other side. Indeed, that uh, ominous noise seems to indicate that. Well, well. I think so far. That box is probably gonna have another spider in it. This. Oh, it's a chest.
hidden treasures. Oh, you all can't see the um, steam overlay. No matter. Fortunate thing about the enemies is because they're so profoundly red, it makes it very hard to uh, be surprised by them unless they come jumping out of boxes. I think I can hear one though. Conquistadors have a very distinct bear like breathing. Pretty obvious from a distance. Oh shit. Oh, son of a gun. That looks like a terrible, terrible idea. Let us, um... Something else to do. Let's head back to the fort. I think you can fast travel. I'm not sure what all these circles are. Dodds Hill. Fort Henry. Forest Edge. Where I am? Man, no. Wait, what? Oh, this must be area transitions or something. Where the hell am I? Dodds Hill is here. Fort Henry is there. I went down this way. Came this way. No idea where the hell I am. This is, uh, not the most helpful of maps. Let us head to the hill as a cemetery. See what mysteries we might unlock. And a fair amount of dosh. Gosh. Whatever you call it. Nice bit of cash. But I'm not seeing anything that will further our quest in any way. I'm perfectly clear on what this quest actually is. Oh goodness. Maybe if I turn ver vertical sync off, but I can't really do that from in in game. Oh, we got us a conquistador. Some kind of a uh, effigy on the hill next to him. Not exactly the best shot in the world, but I do what I can. Oh, I don't like the look of that at all. Other than corruption. How odd. Hmm. Oh, it doesn't seem to help me in any way. Perhaps we'll unravel that mystery a bit later. I don't think we have much choice but to go back the way we came. Let's see if we can stock up on a bit of stuff now. Pistol load? Need longbow arrows. You don't seem to carry those. That's frustrating. What happens if I dong the bell?
Mr. Eastgrove over there. Not really giving me a whole lot of guidance. Not in this world. Ooh. I suspect we're in for some nasty, nasty shit in this world. Reginald. There seem to be some mouse... Mouse smoothing of some kind. Oh, that's because I haven't turned it off. Perhaps we head towards the, uh, sun. I don't like this. I can't see anything. Oh god, I'm starting to get vibes of, a uh, Dream of the Blood Moon. Kind of you were here back in that day. Oh shit, mother god. Oh Christ, these things are fast. Leave me alone! Got the bitch. Oh no, you don't. Ow. Little bitch. Ah, eat it. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, that's great. I can't get that one back. That speed's worthless. Oh, I'm running, running out of arrows. At least the water isn't tainted in the underworld. Oh shit, man. I'm not liking this. I am not going to spend any more time with that shit. I want to know exactly what we're doing here before I spend more time exploring in that abyss. Another corrupted pillar there. That looks strange. Hmm. There must be a way I can purify those or something. Why has the Lord Governor ordered us to collect up valuables and shiny trinkets to hide woods away from our settlements. What purpose can such measures serve but to deject a populace already forlorn from hunger, sickness, and constant harassment by Spanish attacks? Couldn't tell you, buddy. Couldn't tell you. Your governor sounds like a madman. Oh, well, um... Audio clues are kind of guiding me this way. It does seem to change. Perhaps it uh, changes depending on which of the um, which of the landmarks you're closest to. Oh, missed. Oh, took him down. One hit. Beautiful. Now normally. 
In a game like this, I might turn off things. Oh, I got a musket. Nice. Silver brooch. Got me arrow back. Normally in a game like this, I might be inclined to actually turn off the crosshairs. I think that would make this much too difficult. Uh, mainly because there is no alternative means to aim. You know, if, if they had, like, uh, aiming down the sights for the pistols, I'd be cool with that. Or, you know, like, more precise... More precise aiming with a bow. I don't think there's any way to do that. Oh, there is. It's still not that reliable, because it's like two inches lower than the actual crosshairs. So. Hmm. Perhaps someday, but not today. Or bones. Bullet hole in the forehead. Well... That wouldn't be Martha, would it? Buried in a shallow grave. Distinctive necklace of gold and topaz. Well, perhaps we'll take that back to uh, Captain Eastgrove. See if it looks familiar to him. I saw another conquistador down here. Oh, yes, I did. Seem to be a couple of them, so. I'm going to let them be for now. And a common pistol. Second. Oh, shit. Get that back. Fuck. Um, give those guys a wide berth. Actually, I'm just gonna... You know what? I'm not gonna rely on fast travel. I don't like the idea of it. Not in a survival game. It's not like this map is particularly big anyway, but... Hear a lot of them huffing and puffing on the other side of this hill. I'm gonna give them a wide berth. Head back to the uh, to the fort, and we'll see what we got, madam. Well, it's pretty clear to me that something terrible happened here. Let's see. I have a crude pistol or a common pistol? Common pistol is much, much better. Now, why would I scrap items? Is that just getting rid of them? Got a rusty musket. Well, you can sell a pistol. Ah, now he's got arrows. I'll take it. Oh, musket loads. I like that it doesn't tell me how much, um... Oh. I've got, uh, full ammo for this now. Ain't bad at all. You recognize this. Found it near the remains of a woman who had been shot. Found it on the hillside to the south on a warm and pleasant morning. Sat beside her, holding her hand and talking about her son as she died. Is it you who buried her? I thought she would rest better there than near the fort, so I covered her over with stones. I meant to return to dig her a proper grave. 
Someone stole our only spade, and a shovel would not, a uh, trowel would not suffice. Well, I suppose it would be a uh, courtesy to bury her for you. What? I could not tell you where we might find a spade. Nice 20 longbow arrows. Alright, so I guess if I buy these, that increases the maximum amount of... Sorry, I heard someone walking out there. It increases the maximum amount of uh, ammo we can hold. I can see, um... Flag that keeps making that noise. Fighting lots of battles? I think she's mocking me. Well, I don't think there's much more that I can find here. Oh, I hear nothing else on the light, eh? Well, then I think I'm just gonna explore. And I return to the, um, Forest Edge, Dodds Hill. I wish there was some... You know, I, I guess a compass allows us to figure out at least which way we're facing. So, southwest of Fort Henry is Dodds Hill, where we wish to go. We didn't go this way, did we? We went the other way. Your eyes peeled. I think if we had kept going, we probably would have just looped around the hill. I'm not sure there really is anything left over here. Oh, I see sparkles, though. There are signs of a clue. Keep this handy in case I get surprised. There's a box in there, and another spider might come out of that one. I don't trust you. Oh, what ammo type is it? I would really like it if you told me. But at least, like, I could keep it in mind. Mary Barnes and her son Edward are the latest to show signs of sickness. If Ustis Cage cannot find some remedy, Contagion may soon claim its 10th and 11th victims. Well, that is a shame, then. Thought I saw something over here. Apparently not. So, oh, 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 that's no go, Frank. See if I can just one of their attention. For... Oh, nope, I got them all. That's a crying shame, it is. Oh, Christ, that hurt. Ow. One of them's got a bow. By God, they are fast with it. Oh, Christ in heaven. Ah, oh, fuck me. Oh, wow, he is angry looking. Oh, there's two of them, that's why. Oh, goodness. Oh, I'm gonna die. Retreat. Bob and Weave. Oh, Lord, help me. I got some ammo back. Oh, they're... Oh, goodness, they're still shooting me. Woo! I'm afraid that worked out very poorly.
No, oh shit, they are chasing me this far. Unbelievable. Well, now I'm stocked up on health, bitch. You want to help me out here? No, nope, I suppose not. Be a bit much to ask of you. Then again, she can't even see the damn Spaniards. Ah, oh, fuck. Bloody hell. What a terrible shot. Ow. Yeah, have it. Well, do you believe in Spaniards now? <sighs> Don't even say a word. Oh, you bastards. Let's see, do you have pistol ammo? No, of course not. All right. Perhaps the musket will avail us in the future. I hope they don't respawn that quickly, because I wanted to check out that camp that they were in. Something under that tree. Something I missed before. Uh, another grave. John Scrivener, killed by Spaniards. Hmm. Do be a lot of loot around. Which I shall not turn my nose up at. I really hope they didn't respawn, because I don't have the ammo to take them on as... Uh, excuse me. I don't have the ammo to take them on a second time. <laughs> you have bombs, though. Could make use of those. Seems to be empty. Could be something good going on here. I'm actually kind of grateful that they did chase me that far. Made my life a bit easier. Hidden camp. Southwest of Fort Henry. What the... Aw. More ammo I cannot make use of. Drifted eight hours owing to fierce winds and heavy squalls. Storm worsened when we drifted most of the day. High seas and constant lashing rain drowned nearly two dozen poultry in the hold and damaged sundry other supplies. That's not a run-on sentence there. Better the Rebecca before noon. Badly damaged by the storm, we will have to turn around and head back for Plymouth. It's a shame, then. Look out! Goodness sake, man. Spanish sea chart showing a large section of unfamiliar coastline. Hmm. Intriguing. There's nothing else going on here. I don't think I can really move on. Is that where we came from? I think it is.
I don't think there would be anything back there. We're somewhere around here right now, I think. Wait, no. Wait. Down here. Can't be... Let me just check really quick. Yeah, this is where we started. I'm getting all kinds of disoriented here. Well, these figures are not corrupted at all. Making me curious. Oh, there's not a whole lot more going on. Absolutely, we shall have to explore during the, uh, in the dark hour. Or perhaps I could take on the outposts of the Conquistadors. Well, hang on, this looks new. I saw red. This is, you know what this is giving me a real distinct vibe of now? The Shadow of Chernobyl. It's all making me, f this makes me feel like, uh, like I'm exploring the Cordon, the first area of that game again. There's a lot of twinkle sprinkle around here. Makes me nervous. I'm not really sure if the yeah, you know, this is safe. Gold did not return by dusk. I had led six men into the woods by torchlight. Found Edmund Pierce or Percy clinging to a tree, eyes agape, but you know, shadows coming alive. Jeremy Cooper had his head and arms torn off. That's, uh... That's, uh, not healthy, is it? Daniel Fox killed by savages. appear to have stored luxury foodstuffs from England and moldery remains knife for the broken blade the ivory handle all clues found really wow I guess uh, I guess I got nothing more to do here but maybe during the dark hour well, it seems to be a survival horror slash murder mystery, really, in the end. Doing some, uh... Underworld clue. Alright, well... I'm just gonna take a shortcut. Well, you've got nothing more for me, do ya? Ah, this is pistol ammo, isn't it? Okay. Go. That's what I like. That's what I like. Well, let's see. So there's definitely greater mystery here. It has to be over here somewhere. Which means we may encounter skeletons any moment. Be on your toes. I don't know if it would be wise to stick to the path. Oh god, I feel like it's getting louder. God, I'm actually terrified right now. Oh goodness, oh gracious. 
What the f- Oh, that's one of the pillars. Oh my god. Nearly shat myself. That could mean anything in this world, though. Woo! What was that? Woo! Fuck you! Fuck! Back, you devil! Oh, really? Oh, wow. Heaven's above. Oh. Does that mean I purified this figure? Ah. Well, howdy hooty. Well, we'll go nab the other one while we're at it. Leave us to the north of here. We can get some more... More ammo while we're at it. I am afraid. Oh, bloody hell. Where's that one coming from? Can't even see it. Oh, jeez, you're fast. You're also stronger than a musket shot, apparently. Or a pistol shot. Ow! Out your goddamn mouth. Eat it. Are there more? Yeah, it's this way. Be at least three more, I'd say. Bitch. Who's got the jump on who now? I see it. Get near it. Spawn the beasts, then retreat. Oh, well, that was simple. Alright then, alright then. Gotta mean another one. That's what I suspect. You've still got nothing for me. So uh, I'm thinking if there is another one, it's probably where those that base of conquistadors is. I kind of want to know where it is before I even bother going to explore for it in the underworld.
hear some scrapey sound, which means a note, I think. No, it's a chest. 38 coins. Oh, well, we have a uh, water barrel here. Provides us a very convenient source of health while we're fighting these guys, so... Might not actually be as hard as I think it would be. One, two, three. Good shot this fool. How is that hitting so off? Oh, that sank so much. Oh, this one's bloody huge. Oh, gracious. Oh, I missed. Not good. Not good. Okay, let's take down the minions. Maybe we can bomb the big guy. Give up? Nah. Bomb! Oh, he's grabbing boulders. Oh, that hurt. Yowza, yowza, yowza. I don't think that hit anybody. Oh, no, I definitely took down a uh, conquistador at least. Oh, flee. Glad you can sprint side. Oh, goodness. Oh, terrible time at Hawk. Right, we gotta retreat to the fort. Oh, I think I took down the big guy. Oh, I totally missed. Oh, goodness. They got them all? Yes. Jolly good, bitch. Big guy, you better have something good for me. God damn, this guy's a beast. Got my tomahawk back. Broken musket. That ammo, apparently. Well, all that nearly killed me, but we survived, and I know that there is a water barrel over here. To, uh, make things right. Bloody good. Now this gate is unlocked. So I'm not sure if enemies respawn at all. I thought they did, because I thought I had passed through some areas and saw enemies again, but I think they are permadeath. At least until you leave and come back. Oh, well, that's just annoying. Mr. Burden, told by one of the Indians, of a great kingdom that lies in ruin far to the west, rich with copper and pearls of finest quality. 
There was much keen discussion and speculation among all who heard it, but the tribe says it is a haunted and cursed place guarded by shades who dwelled there. Well, that's a laugh. So I found here another scrape. What the hell is it? You can hear it. Oh. It is kept closed by night. Corruption and won't open. Perhaps I... Perhaps there is another... Um, corrupted... Statue that I have to... Release. Well, I got a bomb. Ah, there you are. Dirty dog. I tell you what. I am uh, done for this evening. And um, next time I play this, that's when I will uh, be sure to take care of that particular corrupted statue. And it will hopefully be the last one before we can move on. Stock up on... No, oh, don't need any more of that. Uh, that's all we got. I thought I could uh, sell stuff. Let me find something that I know is not worth much before I... Ah, so you can't sell it. It says scrap. It should say to sell. So there we go. Not bad at all. How's that? That musket compared to uh, our rusty musket? Too bad. Alright, so, um, didn't really get anyone to join me for the stream, but if any of you watching this on YouTube, if I choose to post it there, do enjoy uh, watching this, then uh, let me know, and I might keep it up, otherwise I'll be playing this on my own. Anyway, I'll see you all next time.